Good morning, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. This one's kind of a unique one, and I'm looking forward to uh, sharing this little tip with you. It re involves a custom fixture that I'm looking to put a hand dryer in my uh, bathroom here. And Chief Architect just doesn't seem to have hand dryers. I've looked up all the libraries online and I can't find anything. So what I did was I went out to the interwebs and found one on Google SketchUp Warehouse. Here's the um, 3D Warehouse. If you just, uh, it's not Google anymore. Uh, Google sold SketchUp. But anyway, I Googled SketchUp Warehouse and found this the SketchUp 3D Warehouse and searched for hand dryer. I downloaded a couple of SketchUp models and um, already so I'm gonna bring it into Chief Architect. Straight from the downloads um, I can grab this and pull it into the um, into the model. Now sometimes there's some material issues and so I just click OK and um, I've already done this once, so you wouldn't t uh, you wouldn't typically see this. I'm going to use the existing texture and drop that in there. Here's the issue I'm receiving, though. It's oriented in the wrong direction. As you can see, it's on the floor and it's laying flat on the floor. I want it up on the wall. We can deal with that. I'm going to delete that in this model and start a new file. Here's my new blank file. I'm going to drag this model into the new blank file. Um, let's try that again. There we go. Click OK. I'm going to use the existing texture. Click OK. As we can see, I'm going to take a perspective overview, it's lying in the wrong direction and I really don't want it like that. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to choose this open the library symbol, open symbol uh, icon. From here I just go ahead and play. I, I try the Z axis to rotate, rotate plus, nope that's not it, rotate minus Y, rotate plus, nope, almost not it, X, there we go, that's what I want, click OK. Perfect. Now, I, can I copy that over? Hmm, not quite, because even though it's rotated in the proper way, it's not showing properly on my plan view. So how, am I, how are we going to deal with this? I'm going to take a 3D view of this. Oops, zoomed in too far. And I'm going to go into my tools, uh, symbol, convert to symbol. And it is an interior fixture. I'm going to add it to my library and I'm going to show my advanced options. Click OK. I'm going to call this Sloan Hand Dryer because uh, according to the SketchUp Warehouse, it is a Sloan hand dryer. Click OK. And let's go into my library. There it is, Sloan hand dryer. Now, when I come back to, uh, hang on, I want to do a couple other things first. I'm going to right click on my library object here, and I'm going to open this object. I want it to end up at 42 inches off of the floor. And I'm going to right click again and open the symbol. Origin offset I'm not going to mess with right now. 2D block actually shows up properly. Options I want it to hang on the wall. And um, We'll treat this as an appliance in the fixture schedule. 
it's not going to require natural gas water it's going to require standard voltage and this is a Um, it's not really washer dryer, it's not water heater, I'm just going to leave it as other. Click OK. Now it's set to go into my, uh, uh, my library here. And as you can see, 42 inches goes over the, um, let's make that, that really should be 48, shouldn't it? Open the object. Let's make this 48. So as it goes at 48 and it, and it you know hangs onto the wall nicely, it goes over the countertop. I can put one here and one here. I'm gonna put one here. I'm gonna delete these cabinets. I'm going to copy these over here. Like this. And we're all set. So there is our custom library objects from the SketchUp 3D warehouse. You can get this from pretty much any um, online uh, model as long as you have, let's go to the import 3D symbol. You can import a 3D symbol from DWG, DXF, OBJ, 3DS, STL, SKP, DAE model types. Um, just drag it right in. Use either file import or drag it from your um, uh, file browser or, or win Windows Explorer into the model and uh, manage the objects, library objects in pretty much the same steps as I just showed you. All right, I hope this has been helpful for you and you found this uh, tip interesting this week. If you have, I would appreciate the encouragement of a thumbs up. As always, click the subscribe button right down there and the notification bell, and you'll get notified each time that I upload a video. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful week.